Hello, my name is Manu Paremi. I'm an Applications Engineer at Plexim. Welcome to the Plex Model of the Month video series. In this month's video, I'll be showing a model of a constant temperature, constant voltage charging technique for lithium ion batteries. This model has been developed by Dr. Lalit Patnayak and his team. Here is Lalit saying hello. Hi, my name is Lalit Patnayak. I'm a postdoctoral fellow at the University of Ontario Institute of Technology in Canada. I work in the area of transportation electrification and I would like to thank Plexim for featuring our work in the Plex Model of the Month series. Let's charge batteries faster. Thanks Lalit. Our next Model of the Month video could feature your model. If you have a Plex model you're willing to share, send it to info at plexim.com with a description of the power stage and controller. If your model gets picked, we will make a video of it and post it to our LinkedIn and YouTube pages while publicly crediting your work. The model developed by Lalit and his team illustrates a closed loop constant temperature constant voltage charging technique using battery temperature to modulate the charging current magnitude. The Plex model was used to derive the typical shape of the required charging current as a feed forward term of their experimental setup. The main difference between the conventional constant current constant voltage technique as seen in black and the constant temperature constant voltage technique as seen in red is that by pumping in a higher charging current in the beginning we are able to charge faster. But the charging current is reduced in a closed loop manner to ensure that the battery temperature rise does not exceed of that observed in CCCV charging. The closed loop control is implemented by a simple PID controller. This controller adjusts the magnitude of the charging current in response to the battery condition as it ages as well as in different thermal environments. Let's look at the lithium ion subsystem. There are two modeling aspects to a lithium ion cell. One is the electrical model and the second is the thermal model. In the electrical model, the measured charging current is integrated to get the state of charge in ampere hours. There is a uniquely defined nonlinear relationship obtained empirically between state of charge and open circuit voltage. This relationship is used to compute the open circuit voltage from the measured state of charge. The thermal model is represented using a second order structure to account for heating within the interior electrodes as well as the exterior surface of the battery. This heating is caused due to a small power loss in the internal resistance of the battery, which is typically less than 0.1 ohm. This power loss first heats up the interior of the cell and is then conducted to the exterior. The output, which is the battery surface temperature, is given as a feedback to the control loop. The charger subsystem is an abstracted model and is represented using a controlled current source and a constant voltage source with a set limit on the maximum voltage of 4.2 volts. When the battery voltage is under 4.2 volts, which is typically below 70 to 80% of state of charge, the charger operates in control current mode, where the desired current is determined by the PID control loop. Once the cell voltage reaches 4.2 volts, the changeover switch flips and the charger operates in constant voltage mode. Let's observe the waveforms for different values of battery internal resistance. The scope here shows the waveforms of cell voltage, charging current and surface temperature. The experimental setup of the constant temperature, constant voltage charging technique using a Samsung 18650 cylindrical cell is shown here. The shape of the waveforms obtained from the experimental setup matches the results from Plex. A 20% faster charging with the same total temperature rise as the conventional technique can be observed. To learn more about Lalit's proposed charging technique, please follow the link displayed. I hope you enjoyed this month's model of the month video.
please submit your Plex models to info at plexim.com for a chance to have your model displayed. For more videos and other information, please visit our website at www.plexim.com. Thanks for watching.